Chapter 10, section 7 is entitled Volume of Pyramids and Cones. On the left side of the borders, as you can see, are the formulas for those. Start with the pyramid. Volume of a pyramid is one third B times H. One third times B times H. B continues to stand for the area of the base. H is the height of the pyramid. Not the slant height of the pyramid. I'm not talking about the height up the face here. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm talking about the height height from the top to the bottom center. That height. Not this height, this height. Okay. Again, one third times B times H, where B is the area of the base and H is the height. Now we've got the cone. Cone, one third pi r squared h. One third pi r squared h. One third times pi times the radius squared times the height. Again, pi for our calculations will be 3.14. R again is the radius, the distance from the center to the edge of the base, and h is the height. Again, not the slant height, not the height up the side of the cone, the height height, from the tip of the cone to the center of the circular base. That height, the height height. Okay, as you can see, the examples are divided up much like they have been all week. Pyramids across the top, cones across the bottom. And we'll start with pyramids. Example one, you, as you can see, because I clearly labeled it, that is a square pyramid. That would be important because if we don't know that square at the bottom, we don't know the width or the length, depending on how you're looking at the pyramid, and we can't find the area. But since we know that's a square, we know that both the length and the width of that square are going to be 200. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do in all three problems right now, is I'm going to go ahead and write down the formula. Number one, we'll start with the area of the base. Again, we said the bottom is a square, so this is 200 because that's what it says. So this would also be 200. So the base is going to be 200 times 200. Yes, that makes it a pretty big pyramid. And that's going to make the total area of the base 40,000. The other component of the formula is h, the height. The height, of course, is the other number as it's drawn. Again, the height from the tippy top to the bottom of the base, center of the bottom of the base. That's going to be this 100 feet number. And of course, we can't forget that the formula has 1 third in front of it. And that's just going to come straight down. 1 third is just a part of the formula. No tricks about that. So I'm multiplying 1 third. 40,000 and 100 together. So you're going to do one third, one divided, oh, yeah, what, no, what, I'm not, what? Why did you multiply 200 times 200? That's the area of the base. Wait, what I was told the bottom was a square. Front side of the square, as you can see, it says 200 feet. So if this is a square, this is 200 feet, and this would have to be 200 feet. So 200 times 200. Area is just length times the width. So we've got 1 third. So on your calculators, you would do 1 divided by 3, then press equals, times the 40,000 times 100. And you end up with 1 million. 333,333.3 repeating feet cubed. 
a 1, followed by three threes, a decimal, and then three repeating feet cubed. Yes, that's a big pyramid. <laughs> All right, now in example two and three, they go to triangular pyramids, where the base is a triangle. And again, as we've seen several times this week, this is where these problems have a tendency to get a little bit confusing because we'll have to look at two different bases and two different heights now. 